Food Fun Finance, we are here at Resorts World, Las Vegas, Nevada. We are right off the Vegas Strip. So guess what? We are here at Con Amor Breza. I don't know what that means, but I think it means is I love the breeze. And you know how much I love the sea and the sea breeze. So let's go check this Italian-made restaurant. Are you ready? Let's go. here at Resorts World at Brisa, an Italian restaurant that we're about to try. Are y'all ready for this adventure? Hell yeah. Let's go. So Food Fun Finance, we are at Brisa. It means breeze in Italian. So we're about to dive into this bread. Like this bread looks like it's about to be something serious. It's soft. Go ahead, slice this down the middle. So I'm gonna slide this butter right across this bread and then we're gonna dive right into it because this looks superb. It looks like it's about to be busting. Look at that, look at that. That's how soft the bread is like falling apart in my hand. Is it soft? Is it juicy? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Excellent. Y'all stay tuned. Food Farm Finance, we are back with the food. This is corn finoti. So that's corn. See all those little pieces of corn? That's mushrooms. And then these little lolies. You see how it's squeezed out with the juices on the inside? Now that was superb. So it threw you for a whole loop because when you bite into it, the juiciness, the sweetness was amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. A little bag packed with surprises. Food Fun Finance, stay tuned. Let's go. So Food Fun Finance, we back with this. A cannoli. Are you ready? I'm ready for this my whole life. Let's get into it. So the crust is real thinnish. So when you bite into it, you're not struggling with it. This is more of a cream versus the ice cream like I'm used to. So, so Food Fun Finance is your favorite part of the show, the review time, when we tell you how we feel about this restaurant. So we're gonna go over the environment, customer service, food, and then pricing. First, the environment, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're on the Vegas Strip. We're at Resorts World. Like, it gets no better than that, baby. So, with that being said, five point stars across the board. We are at Resorts World, Las Vegas, baby. Get excited, let's go. So, let's jump into the customer service. Oh my God, this is like one of the best waiters I have ever met, period. Like, he had a large encyclopedia brain of this food. I say, it appears my cranium has doubled in size. He had a lot of knowledge of this food. And the way he described it, you could tell that he was an actual foodie because he went into every single detail on how they cooked it and it just made you want to get it. So everything he described is like, damn, like what should I really get? So we had to narrow it down to the things that we possibly like. But customer service, five stars across the board. He did an excellent job. We tipped him real good because he was amazing. Bravo to you, bro. Because you did an awesome job. So now we got the food, <laughs> the part you came to hear about. So with the food, well, let's start off with the bread. So the bread was mind blowing. It comes in my top 10 for great breads. It was for kosher bread. The person who never wants to be on the microphone be talking so much for kosher bread. So it was very, very soft and it was good. Like you've seen when the butter hit it, it was like very smooth. It was some real awesome bread. 
So with that being said, the bread got a 4.0. So moving on to the actual main course, the main course itself, it got 5.5 stars. And the reason why I said 5.5 stars, even though we stopped at five, is because the creativity in the dish. When you bit into the ravioli, it was a different flavor on the inside versus what was on the outside. And it was completely different. So it made your taste buds go to another direction. It just made you think different. It was amazing. So with that being said, 5.5 stars for that dish. And the cannoli was pretty decent. Like the crust wasn't hard. It was just real creamy. It kind of reminded me of like the Philadelphia spread, like cream cheese. I don't know, I've had some that was ice cream. I would prefer ice cream versus the cream cheese. So that's the only thing that threw me up. Otherwise, the texture was still good. The flavor was still good, but the crust on the outside was the best. So I give that a 3.0. So 4.0 across the board for the food. Now, the pricing, drum roll please. Oh, it was $67. I think my dish was 30 something. The dessert was probably like 12 something. Then we had bottled water. Cause Vegas street water is not the most healthiest water. When I say street water, I mean tap water. And it basically comes from the streets. We always try to get bottled water. Yeah, cause a lot of these tap waters is not good for you. Most definitely not. So we paid probably like five, six dollars for that water. So the pricing I think is pretty fair. I don't think it was outrageous. So I'm gonna give it what, four for the pricing? Cause I think it was fair, especially with the creativity with the food, the environment, the ambiance in here, it's a vibe. They had their own section for the bar area. They got TVs up playing football games. There's a open kitchen concept. So you see what they're cooking. With that being said, Food Fun Finance, just remember one thing. Food Fun Finance is where flavor, fun, and funds collide. Don't forget. Until next time, stay tuned, baby. We're going everywhere. Food Fun Finance, make sure you do me a slight favor, a real important favor, so we can keep this channel going, keep this channel growing. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share with your friends. Make sure you're here every single Wednesday and Saturday, 7 p.m., watching these videos that we're bringing to you. Make sure you travel too. Let's go. Man.